I'm not answering that. Tina here. Yep. That's right. Yep. I understand. Just one thing. Who the hell are you and what are you talking about? Uh huh. You're looking for an app. Not just any app, a power app. And you need to attach files, you say? Well, well, well. That's going to cost you something extra. Good. Real good. I'll be in touch. Adios. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is go to my SharePoint site. I'm just going to use my demo site and I'm going to create a really super simple list and I'm going to call this attach. Attach. Help if I could spell attachment demo. And I'm just going to use the title column. But by default, this list will support file attachments. And if we go here, well, we can't see file attachments there, but trust me, we'll have a file attachment control on that list. So let's go back to Power Apps and create a new Canvas app. Attach demo. First thing I want to do is just in, um, in create a new data source or data connection. And in here, I'm just going to connect to SharePoint. And I want to connect to my demo site. So I'll just grab that URL. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do here is drop gallery down and in gallery I'm just going to select the attachment demo and in here I'm just going to create a label and that's just going to show title perfect because one thing that um, the other thing you're going to realize is you're not going to be able to save an attachment against a list item until the actual list item is has been saved. So you must save that list item first before you can actually attach anything to it. So I'll just have the gallery here so we can reference after we've saved the list item, we can go back in and add something to it. So let's just create a new screen. I'm going to drop a text box in here. Default is going to be nothing. And I'm going to create a big old save button. Like I said, this is just super simple so I can demo the attachment side of things. And on here, I'm just going to patch. Patch that to uh, what was this control here? text input to. So we're going to patch attachment demo and in here we're going to save to the title field text input to text cool and that will save our list item and then once we've done that we want to navigate back to screen one so I'm, all I'm doing here is just setting it up so I can show you how the attachments work so if we go uh, into screen one here and click on 
that. Go test. Line on one. Click on save. Sorry guys, I just like things to look um, reasonable here. So, and uh, if we hit, just hit an icon here as well. Probably should have had all this set up beforehand. So on that, let's just navigate to screen two, which is our create new. Now on, select the gallery and on select um, actually first let's create a new screen now in here this is where we're going to do our attachment so in here let's insert our form control doesn't have to be overly big but in here the data source is going to be the attachment demo and we can see that it's brought in all of our fields, but all we, the only um, field that we want, we don't want title. We just want the attachment control because all we're gonna use this for is saving attachments to our list item. So let's just get that formatted correctly. Now, the other thing we have to do, we have to configure the form advanced properties. So if we go over to advanced, and this is the tricky bit in here we want to type the following formula first because we only want to return one filter and we're filtering the attachment demo connection and we want to return back when the ID of the item is equal to our gallery selected ID. So what we're doing there is we're saying return the very first record back when from the attachments demo And the ID is equal to gallery one selected ID. Go back to the gallery and on select, we want to navigate to screen three, which is our attachments screen. Just, doesn't really matter doing that for a demo but we want that to navigate to screen three and in here we'll just put a so we can have a functioning application we'll just put a button here that will save uh, save it our action will save our attachment just want that to say save and in here we want this to be, no, we don't want it to be a patch. We want it to be a submit form. And we're submitting the form, form two, which is the form we dropped, form control we dropped onto the page. And that's all we need to do there. So after it submits, we want to navigate back to screen one, which is our home screen. So all we're doing there is submitting the form and we're navigating back. So we go back to screen one. Let's create another item, test item two. Now we got two items in our gallery. Click on that, 
you see there's no attachments attached to this file. If we click the attachment control, let's grab a thumbnail. You see that save that it's it's can it's attached that attachment, but it it is unsaved. So if we were to close the application now, that attachment would not be saved. So the trick would be to um, Obviously, when you're building your app, you would build a bit more user-friendly controls and you would also perhaps put a dialog box at this point to say your attachment still isn't saved. Um, please click the save to um, commit that attachment. So anyway, let's click save. And we go back to the gallery. We click on that item see our thumbnail is now saved to our attachment oh sorry our attachment is now saved to our list item if we go to item two nothing so if we attach let's like attach something else let's attach uh, yeah they're all the same thing unfortunately so let's just um, how about we find another file here? All right. Go and attach that. We click save. So we go back to list item one. We can see our thumbnail two is saved. And we go item two. We've now got our back HD. If we go to our list list item and if we check our list items in SharePoint you can see that it is attached the file to the list item directly which is perfect because if you're creating a power app based around a SharePoint list or multiple SharePoint lists you want to commit your attachment to that list item so those attachments are always connected with that list list item which is great it'll um, should work perfectly so if um, and let's just check the other one to make sure that our other attachment is there which is great now um, obviously there's uh, this is a really really simple example but um, in your application you may also want the option just to be able to cancel out of here without saving your attachment you can also um, You've got the option here of clicking uh, the little X icon and that will delete that file but as you can see it hasn't um, necessarily deleted it just yet and we can undo it. So it's quite a nice um, option there. We click save and we go, sorry that's the wrong one, if we go back to the list item there's nothing. So if we go and attach that file again See, it's unsaved again. Click save. And now it's committed it to the list item. And we can attach multiple files to the same control. And click save. Now there's a few other um, options that you can set here. If we go to in, um, underneath the form and the attachment control, if you find the um, actual attachment uh, sub control here under the attachment card, there will be some other properties here that we can set like um, the max attachments and the max attachment size. So. These are um, good options to set, and I believe this is in the megabytes. So um, if you want to limit the amount of data that is getting stored, and obviously you'll have limits in SharePoint as well. So depending on your, on your data source that you're saving to, you may also want to um, configure these options. But obviously out of the box, you don't need to do that. And, um, uh, you know, using SharePoint lists, and following this methodology, you should be able to get attachments working in your Power App. Give my video a thumbs up if you appreciated it. And I guess even give it a thumbs down because apparently that also helps the channel. I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.